Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 19 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Right now, Charlotte is meeting Madeline for some coffee. Since a couple parts ago, she did run into Madeline, who is of course her ex, and they exchange numbers. And she brought up the possibility of meeting for coffee sometimes, so that's of course what's happening now. And as I discussed back in part 17, Charlotte does have some lingering feelings for Madeline, and is really hoping that she's changed and that they can rekindle some of what they once had and start their relationship over again, even though she knows it's of course not a good idea, because I mean, for, she probably hasn't changed, but yes, that's just really what she's hoping for right now, so we'll just have her chat with her and catch up and see how that goes and whether anything happens, but uh, let's, let's discuss dance techniques. I think that's something that you definitely appreciate since she's a she, she's a dance machine. We'll also talk about that as well, and I believe, yeah, Charlotte is pretty hungry, so we'll have to have her grab some food from up here as well. Okay, what do we want to ever get? Let's get a, uh, let's get a cannoli for here. It looks like things are going pretty well with these two. They're having a good time catching up. I'm not sure if Madeline, how Madeline really feels about Charlotte, like whether she's thinking about starting up something serious with her again, or whether she's just wanting to have something more casual with Charlotte, or if she's not really interested in rekindling anything romantic with her. I have a feeling she might be wanting to get something going between her and Charlotte again, though. Oh, that looks... That actually looks really good. Uh, but uh, let's get some more conversation going between these two. Also, I wanted to have, uh, before I forget, I wanted to see if we could have her build her- Ah, uh, no, she can't build her logic skill! Ugh, oh, because I, I really need to get Amanda some more promotions, especially seeing as she's into climbing the corporate lateral, that she hasn't really- She hasn't really done a whole lot of climbing, so that's something I definitely need to take care of, but, um, I was having her fill out reports before Charlotte headed out here, and she does need to get her logic skill up, but unfortunately we can't build that skill. Uh, I guess they can- I don't know if what they have at their house really matters as far as what they can build, but yeah, we can't really do anything about that, which is sort of annoying, but oh well. Charlotte's working up the courage to... Oh, right! <laughs> That's why nothing was working. Um, But yeah, Charlotte's working up the courage to ask Madeline if she's single, kind of see what's been going on with her, like whether she's really seeing anyone or not. But uh, for now, she's just going to stick with the small talk for getting up to that. Oh, it looks like they're friends again. Yeah, wow, okay. They they got back up there quick, but I mean, they, they really did have good connection for us, so it didn't take too long to rebuild that. Looks like she said something pretty embarrassing, though. Let's, let's talk about the latest party, though. But she, is, uh, she, was, she was thinking about having their, well, not really their first kiss, but their first kiss in a very long time. Like, that's, that's definitely what's on her mind here. But we can have her express our admiration of her. Tell her how amazing she thinks she is and get into a deep conversation just to take things in a more serious direction and pass the small talk and all of that. Oh, that might be something she's interested in talking about. Actually, does she even... Oh, yeah, she does know her traits, of course, because they didn't date years ago. A uh, romantic dance machine and non-committal. <laughs> she's, of course, hoping the whole non-committal thing has changed. Uh, okay, looks like she wasn't so interested in hearing about that. Well, we can flatter her. Let's also get a peek at who else is there. Oh, we have Yuki. Uh, yeah, it looks like the avant-garde's are currently meeting here. And I feel like we're just about at the point where... Where are you going off to? Where are you going? Oh, she might be going to the bathroom. Possibly. Yes, that's what she's doing. Okay, well, we'll let her do that and then continue the conversation. But uh, I think once she comes back, Charlotte will have gotten the courage up to kind of to just... just See whether or not she's single. See what's going on with that. Hopefully she does not take too long in there. She almost done. What's, what's going on? Okay, cool. She just finished up. Oh, you didn't even wash your hands. That's disgusting. You're eating food. Ugh, ugh. That grosses me out. I don't know. It just... Oh, okay, good, good. She's washing her hands. I don't know if she went out there. It, just, it, it grosses me out when people don't wash their hands after going to the bathroom. Um, but... Anywho, we're going to... Is she coming back up to us? Anyway, even if she's not, we're going to have her just ask her if she's single. Get that on over with. And I mean, she's... She's technically single. So I'm sure she's going to... Yep, she's going to say that she's single. 
kind of kind of glossing over the fact that she's in a club that's all about just flirting and hooking up with other people, but she is thinking about possibly starting something with Charlotte, so, and she knows that that would hurt Charlotte if she actually told her the truth about that, so she's just not saying anything about it, and in, Ma in Madeline's mind, she is technically single, so she wasn't lying. But yeah, she just wanted to keep the possibility of something with Charlotte open and didn't really want to hurt her by admitting to what she's really been doing here in Windenburg. And now that that went smoothly, let's have her compliment her appearance and tell her how, tell her how gorgeous she looks today. I mean, Madeline is a very attractive sim. And then let's just have her... I don't know if we want to ever confess her attraction yet. I mean, um, maybe surely, but we'll just have her flirt a little bit first and... Uh, Embrace her. Yeah, let's do that. I'm pretty sure she should be cool with that. Yep, there we go. Things are definitely rekindling between these two a little bit. And unfortunately, I, I have a feeling this isn't really going to end well for Charlotte. I mean, maybe Madeline will change her ways, but I, I, I don't see that happening. Let's try a pickup line, though, and see how that goes. Oh, we have her wanting to confess her attraction again. Uh, I, hmm, I don't want to do that yet. Oh, nice! Okay, uh, they're both flirty. Okay, okay, let's, let's blow a kiss at her, and then after that I think we'll be good if, I'll just have her, after that confessor attraction, just say, you know, we had something really great in the past, and I, I want to see if we can, oh, that was where she just disappeared, but anyway, you know, we had, uh, I, I might have to click that again. Okay, let's try the whole confessing attraction thing once again. Uh, if we can even do that. Okay, well anyway, we'll just we'll just go with that it actually happened. Um that it went well. But anyway, you know, she was just letting saying that they had something really good going in the past and she wanted to try to rebuild some of that and that they don't have to rush right into a committed relationship since she knows that 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 may not be what she's ready for right now, but that she'd like to work towards that maybe and they wants to know what Madeline would think about them rekindling what they once had. And Madeline said that she liked the sound of that and wants to give it a try again. I'm not sure how much truth there is behind Madeline saying that, but she may truly care about Charlotte and genuinely want to try to have something, you know, get something going between the two of them. Not sure if she's going to give up her membership and no strings attached, though. Uh, I have a feeling she's probably going to try to juggle being in that club with building a relationship with Charlotte, but now that we did that, let's have the two of them get out of here and go on an actual date somewhere else. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, as far as where the date's gonna be, I think the Bluffs might actually be a really good spot. Uh, you know, nice romantic secluded spot for them to have their first date in a very long time. We're now at the Bluffs with these two, so let's get on with this date. Uh, of course we have the normal Deagles that you always have, so let's just get on with the flirting, and, uh... Don't want to do that quite... Whoa, wait, what is... Oh, she smells. Okay. Oh, uh, that's what that was. At first I thought she was, like... I don't know why, but I thought that she was spontaneously combusting or something like that. Uh, okay, that's not, that's not good. Oh, unfortunately, I don't think there's really a way that... She could take a shower here, so we're just gonna have to deal with her being a little bit... A little bit smelly. Yeah, oops. Well, Madeline doesn't really seem to mind too much, and maybe, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure getting in the pool doesn't help it mu help that much, but we can just have them get into the pool anyway, and uh, comment her appearance. Let's also have them go over somewhere a little bit closer to the water, because I think there was, there was a, uh, yes, this is a bench. Yeah, let's have the two of them sit and chat here. I mean, this is definitely a very nice and secluded spot for, for the day, no one here to bother them, and no Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I, I probably talked about how, like, one of you said that you have to stare for a while to see it. Uh, but yeah, I don't really feel like looking out here for, like, ten minutes to try to see it. This is just such a beautiful spot, though. I'm pretty sure I've said that before, though. Uh, anyway, these two are sitting over here now. So, uh, okay, cool, that's taken care of. Flirt with your date while flirty. All right, we got that. We're moving through these goals pretty quick. Okay, let's, um, let's give her a massage. 
Yeah, I wish there was a little bit more variety in the goals for dates, though. Because, I mean, it was fun at first when The Sims 4 first came out. But then now it's just like, okay, we've got the same thing as always. And it's just not really... It's just not really that fun anymore. So that's why I haven't really been focusing on goals as much recently as I used to. Like, especially with parties. Uh, you know, let's, uh, let's ask her about her love life again, just to kind of... Try to confirm that she isn't still, you know, she isn't sleeping around with people or anything like that. Of course, Madeline's gonna just lie about that. Just reassure her that, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I've changed. Okay, let's see. Tell your date a story. Let's do that. An engaging story. That sounds good. And what is this? Hug someone. Ooh. We can certainly do that. Where was that embrace? Oh, you know what? I really miss the the leap into arms interaction from The Sims 3. I wish that was in The Sims 4. I always thought that was so cute. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's not something like that in The Sims 4. Yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, let's have them embrace so we can have them have some deep conversations. And I'm going to take things pretty slow, like no woo-hooing on the first date or anything like that. Charlotte definitely wants to take things a little bit slower. Um, especially after what happened with Candy. I do think her whole attitude towards this situation with Candy is a little bit hypocritical in a way, seeing as she's trying to get back to so back together with someone who cheated on her in the past. But then again, she did know Madeline really well before, so there is some comfort in that, seeing as there's a lot more unknown with Candy since she doesn't know her quite as well. Uh, but anyway, we've got all the dates, all the goals for the date accomplished. That was pretty easy. Um, so, let's, you know, I, I feel like now would be a good time for them to just, just kiss again for the first time in years. So we'll do that, we'll take a picture of it with all the smelly fumes in the way, or I guess that's not gonna happen. I don't know, should we? Well, I mean, we're kind of going down that path, so we should probably do that. Maybe after we have them dip, we go for a dip in the pool for a little bit. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, look like they're about to do something flirty. Well, anyway, let's... Oh, look at them bracing. Oh, I got the tail end of that. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's whisper perspectively. And then, how about some... I don't think I'm gonna have them skinny dip. Let's just have them... Let's just have them swim together. Just simply swim together. Oh, okay, or not. <laughs> okay, good. She is getting into the pool. Oh, I like the bathing suit on her. Okay, well, we can have her blow a kiss at her. Yep, that's definitely not helping. And uh, compliment her appearance. Tell her she looks amazing in that bathing suit. And what else? Don't think we're going to go for that yet. Oh, uh, flirt. And splash her. That's always loads of fun. I really want them to, uh, to have their first kiss. Ooh. Oh, I think I, I think I kind of missed it. Whatever. Well, we can, we can, we get the end of that. But I mean, they're definitely reconnecting. Oh, something else. Ooh, ooh there was the, there was a bonfire thingy here somewhere. Yes. Okay, we're gonna light this. And then uh, I think it'd be really nice to have them do that whole side hug thing while they stand in front of it. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do that. All right, come on, hurry up! There we go. Now let's lit. Oh, we need some food. Can we? Oh uh, no, we can't roast food over it. Oh, I feel like I feel like that's something you should really be able to do. Well, we can at least have her fire dance. I mean, that's one way to work on her dancing skill. Since uh, we have been neglecting that a little bit. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, let's try it again. And hopefully this time she won't smack herself on the head. Okay. Yes, that is so cool. That's just such an awesome... Just like an, a beautiful backdrop too. Okay, well, when she's done with that, I want to see if we can get uh, Madeline back over here. And uh, she is pretty hungry and a little bit, you know, she does need to take a shower too, so I'm not going to have this go too much 
longer because unfortunately she can't really eat. She doesn't have any yeah, she doesn't have anything in her that she can actually eat. Although we might be able to uh new I don't know if there's any plants around here we can have her harvest and then eat. Mushrooms? Can we eat mushrooms? Let's try it. Let's be resourceful here. You probably don't wanna just um you probably don't wanna just eat random mushrooms you pick. But can we do this? Can we do this? Yes, there we go. Problem solved. This is how bad things happen though. Hmm, that was okay. Alright, not very uh not very appetizing apparently, but yeah, let's have her eat another mushroom. Just fill her up a little bit. Oh now she has to pee. Well, fortunately that's not an issue because we got a bazillion bushes around here that she can that she could fertilize. So let's do that. Uh I don't even know what her date's doing. Completely completely neglecting that. Okay, she's over here. Yeah, let's wake her up. As soon as she's done with the bush. I really wanted to make that whole side hug thing happen, so come on, wake up! Wake up and come over to the fire! Okay, so we're... Oh, well, the date ended anyway. I think she might still stick around a little bit, though. Or not. Oh no, are you leaving? Are you leaving? Can we can we stop you? Let's stop you. Okay, good. We're, we've, we've got this. And uh, we have to add some fuel to that. And then we should be able to have her hang out at the fire and then have her join. Because I just, I just want to do that and then have them have the first kiss before ending this and having her go home and all of that. Okay, let's see if we can uh, invite her to hang out at it. Uh, okay, I don't see anything for that. Well, maybe she'll come over here on her own. Call over. There we go. That's how you do it. Alright, now we're good. Although... She is super dirty, so maybe I should just end this and try to do this whole thing another time when she's a little bit happier. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, it's, okay, yeah, that ended rather quickly. Um, yeah, it looks like she wants to go home too. So I'm just gonna just gonna pick up the following day and then continue on with this at another time. It's the next evening, and Amanda's meeting with the good timers to unwind after a stressful day at work. And as you can see, there's a new member in the Good Timers, who is, of course, Alexander. What happened was that Alexander joined No Strings Attached, thinking that they were what the Good Timers is, which is just a club for people to hang out, have a good time, unwind. But uh, he, was, he was a bit shocked to find out what it was truly about and just felt uncomfortable and didn't really want to be a part of that group. And after meeting Amanda and talking to her... At the group's last meeting, he found out about the good timers, and that's exactly what he's looking for. So, after discovering that, he quit No Strings Attached and joined the good timers. And there is, of course, the added benefit of being closer to Amanda since he does have some feelings for her. He definitely felt like a connection, so he's just trying to be closer to her. Although, he did notice her hanging around <laughs> the urn the previous evening, so he knows there's something going on between the two of them, but he's, he's still hoping that something could happen to Amanda and then maybe she'll leave him and end up with him. And Amanda of course feels a connection with Alexander and it's really causing her to critically to look at her and Buren's relationship more criti critically. And it's making her wonder if the complications of her relationship with Buren are really worth it. But at the same time she wants to keep things going with Buren because he he stands for exactly what she wants in her life and that he's wealthy successful that's exactly what she wants to be and she just really likes being in a relationship with someone who is like that it feels like Alexander may not be as ambitious but then again a relationship with him would be uh, we're not doing that look at her trying to trying to seem like her friends um what was I talking about oh yeah Alexander doesn't seem as ambitious as Bjorn, but a relationship with him would be much simpler. She'd probably be happier and less stressed out. So there is that. Um, so she's just really trying to figure out what she wants. And she knows that there's really... She feels like there may be a stronger romantic connection with Alexander, because, um, I mean, there's, there's, there's a connection there with Bjorn, but it's just not really that strong. I mean, really, she's with him for what he has and is hoping to uh you know get him to leave his wife but then she's she's it's starting to sink in that that may not be what happens and that she may want him to just stay as just a side relationship 
But yeah, thanks for thanks to Alexandre for giving me the whole idea of Alexander leaving No Strings Attached and joining the Good Timers. And why are you not go to work? Why are you not going to work? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Uh, it's, it's so annoying when things like that happen. I can't do anything about that from here. And I don't really want to switch and then like mess up the group meeting. Uh, let's have Amanda find out where Bjorn is and uh, flirt with him a little bit if he's even still here. Oh, where? Okay, he's on the toilet. We'll we'll wait until he's done with that. We'll let him finish his business in peace. Man, he's taking a long time on there. You might want to add a little bit more fiber to your diet, buddy. Uh, okay, let's have her. Uh, now that he's out of there, let's go ahead and uh, compliment his appearance, telling him he's looking sharp today. And, uh, what else? Caress his cheek, and, uh... Just kiss him? Yeah, let's do that. We could also... Do, uh, let's see, hold hands with him? Alright, there we go. I think we've got enough going there with the two of them. And I think Alexander's still downstairs. Yep, yep, there he is, playing that game. Looks like he's having a good time here in this group. Definitely seems like... I guess this is more his speed than No Strings Attached. I just find it funny how everyone else in the group was pretty cool with the whole flirty thing, and then he was continuously like, nope, not cool with it. But, uh, oh, we got a card table over here, too. Maybe play some cards. I think she's still up here getting her flirt on. Okay, no, she's going to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, cool. It's bear night. Nice. Don't see any anyone in here with a bear costume, though. But it looks like she wants to do something romantic here, so let's, uh, let's have her get down here with the rest of the good timers and do that. Alright, so we'll take care of that. And then let's have her, let's see if we can have her go over here and join this game. Oh, no, we can only watch it. Well, maybe we can have her start another game with, uh, with Alexander. So we can play cards with, uh, <laughs> we'll have her play cards with both of them. We'll do that. This should be fun. And then she goes making things awkward by flirting with him in front of Alexander, who's probably a teensy bit jealous right now. But I mean, maybe we should have her cool it- oh, it looks like he's like, he's not quite okay with her just flirting. But I think I'll have her cool the flirting off in front of Alexander a bit, since she does have a bit of an interest in him, and doesn't- doesn't want to make him too jealous. And what do we have here that she wants to agree with someone? Uh, well, maybe I'll have her do that with him. But, uh, let's, uh, we'll, we'll just have her chat. Right, right, right. Don't wanna, wanted to cool it off with the flirting. So we'll just talk about the good timer, see how he's enjoying the group, and, and tell a chill joke about engineers. <laughs> I'm actually an engineer, so I really wonder what kind of jokes they're telling about engineers. Uh, uh, oh, I already, well, I already did that. I didn't mean to do that again. Do we ever find it? Oh, nice. Hanging out with Bjorn Bjergsen is the main reason that I enjoyed the good timers. Really? Is that who you... Is that the main reason? Or is it hanging out with someone else? Eh, I don't think it's just, uh... I don't think it's just... Oh yeah, let's criticize Bjorn right in front of him. Okay, let's do that. Uh, looks like she's wanting to get a little bit romantic with him as well. Uh, let's ask about his career and see what he does. I don't know if he has a job or not, but we can check. Uh, let's ask about Dave. But yeah, she's just wanting to see what he does, kind of see uh, see what he's got going for him. Maybe he has a high paying... Oh, he's unemployed. I I don't think Amanda's really going to think too highly of that. But I mean, he is pretty new to this town. He's still figuring himself out. Um, let's... Uh, okay, what can we do? Sure, no, none of that. Don't, don't think any of that's very good. Ask about Dave, see how things are going. I should probably also have her talk to these three over here, because I, I always neglect them. I always pretty much just have her talk to, uh, to Bjorn and now, uh, uh, oh, look at you getting flirty. Okay, we'll have her, did, oh, why did you say, oh, right, the, the calling thing. Okay, well, we'll have her, we'll have her go over here and chat with these three so that they don't feel neglected. I feel like there's kind of like, like separate cliques in this group. Well, that's cool, now she's over here with them. And, uh, we'll make sure to, I don't know if she really talked to, uh, to Dominic either. But, okay, we'll cross about neighbors since they're neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> nice, so we're getting everyone else in here on this. And how's her? Oh, she's actually really tired and really hungry. So, I should probably be wrapping up the group meeting soon. 
But, um, yeah, it was definitely good to meet with the good timers again, because I honestly cannot remember the last time I had her meet with them, and then, um, in the last part, I actually, like, forgot, like, I completely forgot that she was even in this group until I got a reminder in the last part about it, so I just thought it'd be good for her to meet with them again. It looks like he's, uh, he has to go to the bathroom. Okay, so he's getting up from the table to do that. What else does she have that she wants to do? Tell a joke? Tell an insider story? Well, we could tell an insider story to to this guy. He definitely gives off a creepy, like the creepy old guy who flirts with uh, with younger people vibe. I feel like that's I think that's what they were going for when they made him. Like, look at him. He's just like he's just like oogling her. It looks like <laughs> I don't know. That's just what it seems. That's just what it look he gives. He's giving to her seems like. Uh, anyway, what else? What do we have? We did the insider story. I think. We'll tell a joke, tell a joke about Martians, and uh, her mood, yeah, her mood really isn't that great, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wrapping up this meeting shortly, and this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end this part at, so I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and bye!